Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about a few new products from Dr. Shirakul. So I asked them how to pronounce it and they said Shirakul. So I'm trying my best with this one. I think I used to call them Dr. Shirakul. Um, but I was like, I'm super unsure so I actually asked the brand how to pronounce it this time. They offered to send me a few skincare products to try out and I was super happy to accept. There are a few really good standout ones that I'm super excited to show you guys. So we have two products from the Active Berry line. So there is a cream and then a lip oil. These ones are my favorite for packaging. So, so, so cute. I'm throwing it. There were two from the Kombucha line, which I actually haven't been able to try due to some really bad skin condition at the moment. And then what actually might be my new favorite sunscreen, maybe ever. That's like a really strong statement, but we will get to that. They are all back inside the packaging because it has the um, information in English on the boxes. So it's a lot easier for me to read out. <laughs> Apart from the lip oil, I think I actually threw out the lip oil because I tried it the first time and I was like, this is great. I don't need the box. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> so we'll start with the lip oil. The lip oil is super, super cute. It's a baby pink color, but it kind of goes on like a little clear gloss. It has a really slight pink tint, but it's tiny. It's like really, really tiny. So if you want something that just has like the smallest rosy glow, this is the product for you. I also really love the lavender top. I think that the color combination is just adorable. But in general, I like the applicator. I feel like it's quite hard to get it out, sorry, not out, in, back into the bottle. Like I feel like I'm gonna break it a lot. And um, the outside of it is a little scratchy, but the part that you're supposed to use against your lip is not, so that's no problem. It doesn't really smell like much and it doesn't really taste like much either, which is really good but it's really comfortable on the lips and it's not too oily. I have had some lip oils where they just feel like a little bit too like slidey and then they make my lips feel gritty after a while. That is not like that. Um, and so I am super happy with the lip oil. I would definitely recommend this especially if you like how cute it is. Then we have the cream. This is the Vegan Active Berry Lifting Cream. We of course have the purple packaging with the purple text, which I think is really cute. And that is what the bottle looks like. Again, we have like the lavender text. And then the product itself is actually kind of pink. It's really, really hard to see. Like it's a really pale pink. So it matches the lip oil too. This one has a really light, like almost like floral smell. And it is a super thin gel-like texture. Really good for the morning, but probably for me, not quite thick enough for the evening. So I've been using this in the morning for the past month and it's really lovely on the skin. It sets really nicely and my skin doesn't feel too heavy in the morning, which is really great. I personally really love the packaging. That's probably the biggest draw for me that it's like a pale pink cream and like lilac packaging. It's so cute. And yes, it does matter to me personally what the packaging looks like. It's just nice when it is pretty <laughs> to me. So that is the cream. I really love this as well. The next two products are the kombucha tea products. And the reason that I haven't actually tried these ones is because they have one of the main ingredients being a, I believe this is Saccharomyces. Where is it? Yeah, Saccharomyces Fermate Filtrate. And it's one of the known like triggers for my um, acne in my skin. And over the last month, I've been getting back into using tretinoin and my skin has been really unhappy anyway. So I've got like quite a few like clusters um, of pimples and I really just didn't want to aggravate them on it anymore. But it's so cool. So they has this really nice heavy glass jar. This is the toner, sorry. This is the, no toner, essence. Vegan kombucha tea essence. It's all separated out like this. It has like a milky um, top and then like a little brownish thing. And you obviously need to shake it really well. Shake well before you apply over a cleansed face and gently pat to be absorbed. It's formulated with kombucha essence, a fermented black tea, which is the fermented part that I <laughs> cannot use. Um, refining skin for healthy complexion and providing hydration. When you shake it up, it turns to this like more tea color, a little bit more similar to the packaging. Um, I think it's really, really cool. I like how this one has the white and then the more tea colored label with the tea colored writing. I don't know, I just think that the packaging is so nice. And it smells good. It feels nice on the hand. Um, but again, for the skin, I just was not willing to put my skin through it at the moment. I think that I'm actually gonna be giving this one away to one of my brother's partners because they really love Korean skincare. Um, so that is the essence and then there is also a matching cream as well and so same thing for the packaging that's really hard to get out I'm trying not to rip the box so that i can kind of give them away without looking gross 
that is the cream. Again, it smells really nice. They have like a nice kind of like tea scent. That one almost smells a little bit like cinnamon. It's really lovely though. So it has a nice brown sort of color and it just is a nice kind of like gel texture, really similar to the vegan berry one as well. And then last but not least, we have the sunscreen, which has become my new favorite of the past month. I still have to like use the entire bottle because sometimes you use the sunscreen and it's really good to start with. And then towards the end, it starts to get like dry almost, like if you don't shake them well enough, especially, but they start to get dry and kind of gross. So this one, like I don't think you're supposed to shake it, but I do anyway because it's really liquidy. But it is the most like liquid sunscreen that I've ever used. So I can actually use a good quantity of it without my skin feeling disgusting. As far as I can tell, it's fully translucent. Now, being that I am not the most melanated person, I am fairly pale. Um, being that it is translucent for me is not a very good test. But I actually don't have anybody that I'm close to that I could trial this out on other than my students. And I think that that's inappropriate. So I will not be asking them to test out the, uh, the, <laughs> the moisturizer, the sunscreen for me. Um, but as far as I can tell, it feels and looks truly translucent, which is really, really cool. But the main thing for me is getting a daily sunscreen that I feel like I can use the correct amount without my makeup feeling gross over the top because there are a lot of sunscreens that I do really love. They feel nice on the skin. They look really luminous, but then my makeup over the top looks awful. Like it looks so gross because it just pills up and it's just too thick. And a lot of comments would be like, just use less sunscreen. It'll be fine. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I was on Accutane for a really long time and it really got drilled into me that sunscreen is an everyday thing. It's a beautiful overcast day today, um, which is why the, the lighting is so bright. And I still have sunscreen on because the light can get you at any time. But this has actually been my favorite. And I think it is probably, it's very moisturizing as well. I forgot to say as well, my skin feels so hydrated after using it. I don't think that there's anything bad about this one. This one has got panthenol in it and 10 hydro complexes. I didn't actually read all of the stuff about this because I actually like to try the products without knowing what they're supposed to do other than reading the skincare ingredients um, and then I can be like oh yeah this is moisturizing so it doesn't surprise me that it's got lots of oh it's got 10 types of hyaluronic acid <laughs> it's a super hydrating sunscreen of course it is <laughs> of course it is oh it's got nice and white in it as well cool I feel like it's going to be really expensive, so we're just going to Google the price. Obviously, when things are sent to you, it is um, hard to know if you would be happy with it if you would have bought it yourself, because you don't always know how much it cost. So, Dr. Shurakul, it is $39. Oh, yeah, I would buy that. Yeah, totally. It's $39 New Zealand dollars, not US dollars. I was like, oh, 39 US is a lot. $39 New Zealand dollars from YesStyle, which is really where I would buy the majority of my skincare ingredients. Ooh, it comes in a double pack as well for pretty much exactly the same price. Why would anybody do that? Okay. This has definitely become my solid favorite sunscreen um, and I will be switching it out for another one that is less good so that I can finish the other one up because it's like really close to the end and then I'll be going immediately back to this. <laughs> I also tried a Pareto one in the school holidays which was a few weeks ago and it looked so nice on the skin. It was so moisturizing, so like glowy and dewy but you know what happened to it. It's um gets in my eyes and it makes my eyes sting. I don't even know how it gets in my eyes. Like I won't be rubbing them or anything. Like I had makeup on over the top of it as well. And somehow it would still get into my eyes and I know it's the sunscreen because it, nothing else is new. It was the only new product. And I'm like, how? I had like this little mini and oh, it was so frustrating. It hurt so much. <laughs> So those are all of the products from Dr. Shirakul. Thank you so much to the team at Dr. Shirakul for sending these products for review. And I still feel like I'm saying it wrong. Shirakul, Shirakul, Dr. Shirakul. I really hope that I'm doing the pronunciation a little bit of justice. And thank you guys so much for watching this review and I will see you in the next one. Bye.